brings you emotional intelligence and soft skills. Managing emotions is a key component of emotional intelligence. The ability to manage emotions effectively is a crucial part of emotional intelligence, and it's the highest level. Regulating emotions, responding appropriately, and responding to the emotions of others are all important aspects of emotional management. Emotional intelligence helps leaders to adapt. Leaders also need to be able to adapt to changing circumstances in their workplaces or in their own roles and those of their team members. Being aware of, understanding, and managing your emotions and of those around you should help you to navigate through an ever-changing world and even to become a successful leader in it. According to the Harvard Business Review, emotional intelligence is a key leadership skill. And for a leader to be truly effective, they must be masterful at managing their relationships in a positive way. Being a leader of a group of people is to have a very important relationship with those people. The first step in understanding emotions is to perceive them accurately. In many cases, this might involve understanding nonverbal signals, such as body language and facial expressions. The next step involves using emotions to promote thinking and cognitive activity. Emotions help prioritize what we pay attention and react to. We respond emotionally to things that garner our attention. The emotions we perceive can carry a wide variety of meanings. If someone is expressing angry emotions, the observer must interpret the cause of the person's anger and what it could mean. The ability to manage emotions effectively is a crucial part of emotional intelligence and the highest level. Regulating emotions, responding appropriately, and responding to the emotions of others are all important aspects of emotional management. Emotional intelligence helps leaders to adapt. Leaders also need to be able to adapt to changing circumstances in their workplaces or in their roles and those of their team members. Being aware of, understanding, and managing your emotions and of those around you should help you to navigate through an ever-changing world and even to become a successful leader in it. According to the Harvard Business Review, emotional intelligence is a key leadership skill. And for a leader to be truly effective, he or she must be masterful at managing their relationship in a positive way. Being a leader of a group of people is to have a very important relationship with those people. What are soft skills? Soft skills are different from hard skills, which are directly relevant to the job to which you are applying. These are most often quantifiable and easier to learn than soft skills. A hard skill for a carpenter, for example, might be the ability to operate a power saw or using framing squares. Regardless of the job to which you're applying, you need at least some soft skills. In order to succeed at work, you must get along well with all of the people with whom you interact, including managers, coworkers, clients, vendors, customers, and anyone else you communicate with while on the job. These are the type of skills all employers value. Employers want employees who are able to interact effectively with others. These skills are very hard to teach, so employers want to know that job candidates already have the soft skills to be successful. Here are a list of some soft skills. Communication. How well do you communicate? Communication skills are important in almost every job. You're likely to need to communicate with people on the job, whether they are clients, customers, colleagues, employees, or vendors. Yes, you will need to be able to speak clearly and politely with people in person, by phone, and in writing. You'll also need to be a good listener. Employers want employees who can not only communicate their own ideas, but also listen empathetically to others. Listening is a particularly important skill in customer service jobs. Critical thinking. No matter what the job, employers want candidates who can analyze situations and make informed decisions. Whether you're working with data, teaching students, or fixing a home heating system, you'll need to be able to understand problems, think critically, and devise solutions. Skills related to critical thinking involve creativity, flexibility, and curiosity. Leadership is another important soft skill. While not every job opening as a leadership role, most employers will want to know that you have the ability to make decisions when push comes to shove and can manage situations and people. The ability to step up to the plate in a difficult situation and help to resolve is something employers look for in prospective employees. If you are interviewing for a job that has potential for advancement, the employer will want to know that you have what it takes to become a leader. Positive attitude. Employers are always seeking people who will bring a positive attitude to the office. They want employees who will be friendly to others, eager to work, and generally a pleasure to be around. Being able to keep things positive is especially important if you're working in a fast-paced, 
high stress work environment. Teamwork. Hiring managers look for candidates who can work well with others. Whether you'll be doing a lot of team projects or simply attending a few departmental meetings, you'll need to be able to work effectively with people around you. You will need to be able to work with others even if you don't always see the eye to eye. Some skills related to teamwork include the ability to negotiate with others and to recognize and appreciate diversity in a team. Another related skill is the ability to accept and apply feedback from others. Then there's work ethic. Employers look for candidates with a strong work ethic. Such people come to work on time, complete tasks in a timely manner, stay focused, and stay organized. They are able to budget their time and complete their work thoroughly. While they can work independently, people with a strong work ethic can also follow instructions. A strong work ethic is difficult to teach, so employees will be impressed if you can demonstrate this in your job application. There's an importance of soft skills in the workplace. There are a great number of people entering the workforce that lack soft skills. These necessary skills are lacking in many people that are just graduating college and taking on professional jobs. You might ask, what are the soft skills that employees lack? Soft skills include relationship building, motivation, attitude, character, and anything to, to do with emotional development. These skills have nothing to do with an employee's trade abilities. Soft skills are learned by interacting in society and part of a social upbringing. It's the ability to interact with others in an effective and productive way. How do we help our employees develop these necessary skills? As leaders in a company, it is our job to help employees gain the necessary skills to do the job. It is difficult when it comes to teaching these skills. Lead by example. It's very important that you set the tone for your office culture. Show employees what skills you value. Also, have office get-togethers to help build a team. You need to have times you meet outside of work. Figure out what works best for your staff and put together outings or parties for the staff to mingle. Pair people in teams. In some jobs, pairing people up on tasks will give your staff the chance to work with someone else and build soft skills in the process. Building soft skills in your team is an important part of a successful business. It will take time and determination, but it will happen. 